Hello and welcome to Stockwatch, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for Go Market Securities. As always, please, a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature, none of it relied upon as any forward personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of it relied upon as any forward advice at all. It is just general in nature only. Along with all of the mining updates that we get in this time, we actually get a lot of sort of companies reporting around their third quarter expectations for FY24. And one to highlight, I think anyway, is Challenger Financial, a company that tends to sort of go by the wayside because it's just not that exciting. Sometimes you miss the fact that it is very well run and it's a very, very solid and very slow moving business, which is not a bad thing. So I do want to point out that their guidance was upgraded to the top half of the range. This is their own wording from 550 to $605 million. That would imply a midpoint of 553, but top end would suggest it's probably more likely 605, which implies for the second half of this financial year that they're gonna bring in about 315 million bucks to go from the 290 they did in the first half, which is pretty good. And most of that's driven by their financial management business and improving costs on equity. So margins are better, their management is going better, their fund under management is going better. Not surprising considering that when you start to see increased volatility, risk off movement tends to go to players like Challenger. Their annuity book, which is what they're known for and their annuity business has been improving for the last four or five years. Strategic change in the business has very much driven towards offering longer term duration annuities, which therefore drops the amount of uh, maturities and renewals that have to be done, drops the amount of actual overall return of equity to customers because they've now got it under their uh, management for longer. This is now seen that the overall average has gone from 6.1 last year to now 8.2 in terms of durations on their annuities business, which is quite tidy. It explains why their overall business is improving. Growth for the calf is up about 0.6, which is pretty standard. They are very, very slow moving beasts. And overall, it's a good number. If you have a look at their life book, it grew by 0.9. And this includes some uh, numbers around their Challenger Plus Index, which was a new business they bought in over the last few years. Overall, very solid result. It shows that Challenger remains a very, very good player in the annuities business. And it's not just here in Australia, their Japanese business looks quite rosy and some of their stuff that's going on in North America. So it's a company I thought I should bring to you a highlight. There's nothing more than that. It's a very slow moving beast, as I said, but a really solid and very nice upgrade heading into the final part of the financial year.